Hello everyone, Zin Zimmer here. Welcome back to back, back, back to more. Let's play Star Wars Coder. Last time, well, with this stuff. This time, we're going to hopefully get to the undersea. Ready. We're not breaking. On it. It's open. Hmm? Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have to Addict's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. That's fine, because honestly, we can get him back. Grad, that's assuming we want them back. Grad, we do, but... Hey, you made it! I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing, come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale, it's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Yoon. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. And... Knocked out. Not what we wanted. What is F backpack? Sif armor. Sadly, not going to be too useful. However, we can. Keep forget, no. I keep forgetting. It's R. And of course, he looks like a Seth. So people will change their attitudes. No, 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 no. Yes. What's on your mind? Never mind. Got it. Because I don't want to talk to you yet. Ready. Yep. On it. Hmm? It's open. It's open? It's <laughs> not just steal from this family. Some good stuff. It's the ship! Ooh, no! I'm so scared! <laughs> Careful. Don't do anything stupid. We don't have no trouble with the Sith. Oh, yeah! You're right. <laughs> Sorry about this, shithy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. 
Yeah, that's probably why I had the Sif armor on earlier. More so, I can deal with that. Oh. Greetings and good day. I hope your patrolling goes well today. All hail the Sith. <laughs> Another All hail the Sith. down to the lower city. Eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. And here are the lower say. Being real, not too big a fan. Gaba dumpa kunpa yia moka pata. Namnai kachu. Inkin kunoba muli rati kun. Tong na bun sa yun yan. Kapabul pa multi kamana. Ijuta yun patisa. Inba ni chalora kun. Kipona kapatum pa kubaya mo kapata. Yoka kutumpa kulpa yia. This building. The lower city apartments. Save the game. Because one of these doors. One. On it. It's open. Kipuna. Puna dai kachu. Kimba no mulina na tuana. Uh, don't believe. Yeah, no. Uh, we have to quickly switch car out. Which grant is? Kipuna. Chibeduana ni bobo. Tonk na bung sha nun yang. Tonk patoga smaktelia. We eat a Nadana Itia. Kipona Kavatumpa Kupari Ajuta Chibeduana Nib. We eat Kipon Ajut Chibe Tong Takum Justak Mi. Oh, wait, I'm not going to say it. Except for a failed game. Tulpada bonk molia gando danago chuchut. Moga shapumpa bolawana chikni. Bamule slick mo poda na wanga kun beast muli rabes. Kachichu aitha hodunga. In kin kuno bamuli ra chikun. Slim apodona. Rundi hodonga kun honkabi. We itha nadana itia. What are you, Makawama, who hanik? A shonk turong, umnipatoga. Wana kun best ching palamul tongi. We eat a nadana yitia. Kunti chani. Tong patoga smaktelia. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ay thao donga tulpa da bong molia gando da nago chuchut. Moga sha pungpa 
Bolawan na chikni. Bamulis lik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli rabest. Mana mana tota. Aku chikratuk bola. Jishok chonatong chong king no una pang pa muli ra kun kili. Kun kili no pa. Wata timan yo kol. Wata wama muli ra. King kun jo pe shak. No ba muli ra ji. Joni yu turong chi. Wi ita dia. Bola una chinek. Ba muli ra at slimo ang gakun bis king. Shak ji king lor cha wata uma. Kava vol pa mul ji guma na. King kun sha ji king. Ni king kun no ba muli ra ji kun. Wama kun bes. Chin pala mu ji. Tuni ra nu prata dun ko. Ser cha doma doma. Tony Fudu, Rana no Prata don't know, Sarcha, it's you a penki. Mucha shak pangpa, inking kun no ba muri, rachi kun, takum just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ay thao dunga, tulpa da bong kmolya gando da nago chuchut. Moga sha bong pa, bola wan na chikni. Ba mule slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli rabest. Tong hai tuam jiji yu malit pa ang inkotu. Tulpa da bong kmolya gando da nago chuchut. Kachi chu ay thao dunga. Yu malit ka inkotun. Chilo mulera de ne bobo. Munga kun biskang. Ba mulera. Now we can check. Oh wait. Right. There's black vocal vocals. Right. This. Now this is a puzzle that I absolutely hate. Okay, so before that, save. Because you don't want to accidentally activate the wrong thing. So. And that is a solution. I know then the guy telling you is getting you back to the stage is the answer, but Good gear. No. This is upgradable armor. Right now? Not 
as good as light battle armor. But it's definitely better than the Sif armor. I'm here. Plus, Carve is stronger, so yeah. and supplies. Heavy blaster and an energy shield. We want to put on that energy shield. Energy shield. And activating it will help us survive. There's credits. Sentry droid is too useful. Sadly, want to save parts even more. Now, if we're going the other way, then yeah, it might have been useful. Javar's Cantina. Cantina. Cantina! Uh, me and Flabbing of English. Go away. Kiska Nichu, Imba Muli Rabonaji, Imba no Kumixa Tabom, Kakincha Nawabagon, Tung Abashun, Ni Tunki, Kipona, Kavatumpa Kurpa Yia Moka Pata, Chi Yoka Kutumpa Kurpa Yia, one Oscar, Kiska Nichu, the Hupa Botania, no Gigi Piti, Kipuna. Kavatumpa kupalea muka pata. Jiyoka kutumpa kupalea. Two. Jiyoka ku. Kumba muli rabwana ji. Kuyami juski chika nai. Kumba maska duana chichopa muska. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chaju. Tune pudu. Rananu prata dunko shirkasha. Jum apike. Three. Go away. One. Smart. Yeah, you can win against him. <laughs> At least, not yet. Maybe eventually. Start holding. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my own species. Bullshit. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. 
I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Good. All right, this. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Kuyami, Juski, Chika, Nai. Tong Batoga, Smack Tilia. Dabis, Yubong, Kuki, Pankpa. Tong Itwamaji, Human Act, Un Ikatune. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Kuba Batu, Konchi. She's got a soki, Kupa Bona, and a Chachu. Just a sec, boys. Solbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chubasa! Kimba muli ra bona ji! Kaba volpa muji guma ya! Now these two are gone. Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. When Gadden went blind, Everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Bredrick in his place. But Gadden figured Bredrick wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Bredrick was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Vex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. You going? 
Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Think about something besides your stomach five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu yin kin no ba mule ra ti umpa do punta kita a ti kondo una chaba chisa wanki ti toki grantu kon chi chan kun green kanchan to pro Johnny <laughs> You ma wama nibo lora waisha waga shiki Do it to me Kakunju stak miki grabble moko Kachichu ita bodunga Runda di hoto Kenchopa chawi ti chok twiz yun kun Watu yama kama wuna henak nek Bugra bona na kachu Kicha badwang Wanga kum kiba bu mule Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu We team and bon rang thong Muli ra on shad Power me wants to fail Ruin Lin's addition by taking a dive. Kipuna, bona na kichu, kin ba mule radwana, don kin ba no kudnok neck, kap. Ni ba joni yo love wish. Pudu, tuni rama. Kipuna, bona na kichu, kin ba mule radwana. First of all, that minus on purposes. Kawadumpa <laughs> Boga shampoo, boya wana chikni. Bamul slimo poda na wanga kumbis. Muli rades. Rundi hautunga tungimba nangunge. Tell me about that is. Mama wish. Tungjo ne ya hakono. Muliya yonu maze. Teaching we did one night I wish Muli de Bomi Uba na tu la bota Yami Jusa I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that As long as we don't end up on the list of your victims Uni ramano pratatuncho Sechado matoma 
Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why we don't ever do it the quick way, the quick slack way. Too long of an animation. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gad on back? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open-door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcra Gang War, Gadden has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. And we go in. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zandra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. You can speak to Gad. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, 
But the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. They still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Volca base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Volca base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the danger. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the sit guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past it. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the sit patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now... I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. All right. Now, we have our objective. Let's go. are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tonipudu! 
Rana nu prata dunt no sercha e chua penki. Wata da wa mamuli ra. Ken chun chu bashak. No wa buli muli ra ji. Juni tun turji chiwi ita do. Bola una dicek. Bala mure slimo wanga kun bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. And we meet a Mandalorian. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. We'll see him later. Because someone with a name is either a party member or an important character. Jimmy, I thought I Agi Uko Dune, Kuna Muli Ra, Tangi Wama Jikuna, Tonk Ipa Nonku Nek Abog, Kiyokaku, Kimba Muli Ra, Wana Ji, Kuyami, Juski, Chika Nai, Uba Baska, Wana Chichopa Muska, Jiska Dasoki, Kupa Bona Natachu. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just crunky to pets, Nemo, Chi Ita Kanki, Chana Kilikun, Kimba Muli Ra, Wana Ji. That's the plan. I believe we also need to save. Because we got a risky thing. Oh my god. They don't see us. Oh, that's no, not. I don't know why you're going up close, car. Three message, hyperdrive. And all the run. Hyperdrive, my ankle, all the run. And we have some good gear. Carf, Galloway. The Republic. Mod armor. Packs out its upgrade, upgrade ability. It's even better. Oh no, it's not. Then we better give that to Car and give me this. Oh, 
When did these guys come? No. We need oh. keep forgetting. Selvin. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. No, I'm. Well, go ex. I gave you a chance to get out of. Now you'll see why I'm. Now we've got so good gear. Okay, so let's check. Let's nice reflex. Nope. You're bind. Some good stuff. Some good, good stuff. to the lower say once again and then we'll head to the under say None of these guys dropped anything. Oh. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. That's not a bad idea, honestly. You don't usually agree with the evil, but yeah, don't. This is alright. You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us now. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. 
Go on, you two, get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Uh, of course, I'm sorry. You're probably here for something important, right? You probably want to speak to Gendar. He's the leader of our village. But if you... if you have time later, maybe you could come back and speak to me again. I don't get much chance to talk with people from the surface. Thank you. And... we're using five credits. And... Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rackles are so near. They weren't near. Until now. You could have opened it. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Kill the Rackle. Hurry back in. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. My side. Now. Let's go to the doctor. And now we don't have to. Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake. But. Yeah, that healing was needed. But. With that, we do have not much. All right. Hey, you ain't from the village. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. Let me see your name. Because I don't believe... Yeah, no. He has really bad stuff. He has bizarre cards, and that's the only good thing here. Even the upgrades aren't good, really good. Uh, no, I can't get that. But, right. Keep getting to save.
next time on Let's Play Star Wars Knight of the Old Republic or Coter. We're going to find mission. And after that, well, we'll find out because in that episode, in the next episode, we might get this accelerator, might not. Don't know. See you guys then. Zeno and Zuma, signing out.